that can also be one expression of surrender. Now, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, a very learned Acharya and a commentator on the Gita, he has explained surrender by a six point formula which he draws from the scriptures, from the Puranas. So what are the six points, practical ways in which we can understand what surrender is? So Anukulyasya Sankalpa Pratikulyasya Varjanam Rakshishyatidi Vishwaso Goptritve Varnam Tatha Atmanikshepa Karpanye Shadvidha Sharanagatihi So Rakshishyat Anukulyasya Sankalpa Accept that which is favorable Pratikulyasya Varjanam Reject that which is unfavorable so now if you see both these aspects are actions so surrender is not just in action but the both these aspects are actions and again returning back to our expression of love you know when we love someone if we, if we know that something displeases that person we avoid that it is unfavorable for our love we avoid that particularly varjanam and whatever is favorable we accept it anukul is ankalpa we accept that now what is anukul for bhakti actually we can say that basically those things which connect us with Krishna, which remind us of Krishna, which take us closer to Krishna. So they can be summarized with a simple formula A, B, C, D. A is association, association of devotees, those who are surrendered to Krishna or are trying to surrender to Krishna. That will stimulate us in our spiritual life. B is books. We need to study scriptures like the Bhagavad Gita by which we will philosophically understand how uh, we should surrender, why we should surrender, and how Krishna is the ultimate goal of life. C is chanting. This is chanting the holy names of Krishna, especially the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, which is the Yuga Dharma for Kali Yuga. Actually, Krishna manifests in a portable form with us. We can, wherever we are, we can have the holy name on our tongue with us, and that way we can connect with Krishna. This is the most important limb in this age. Kali Kale Namaru Be Krishna Avatar. And D is diet and deity. You know, we can worship the deity of Krishna at our home and we can offer the food that we take to Krishna before taking the food and that will become prasad that will not just nourish our body but purify our mind and awaken our heart uh, with Krishna pray. so now pratikulyasya varjanam reject that which is unfavorable what are those activities? those activities especially which disconnect us from Krishna they are primarily for meat eating, intoxication, gambling and illicit sex so, meat eating actually makes us violent towards other creatures of God and that naturally displeases God. We are all brothers in God's family and Krishna doesn't want any of his creatures to be wounded or killed just for the sake of the taste buds of somebody else. So, similarly, no intoxication. You know, intoxication, we want to go towards reality, understanding our relationship with Krishna. We are illusion, but intoxication puts us in greater illusion and of course it makes us do many harmful things also, it hurts our health also. Gambling, it again stimulates our greed. You know, there is uh, the principle of simple living high thinking but gambling makes us just crazy for wealth and it paralyzes our thinking uh, in the hope of gaining some quick gains. So that also we avoid and illicit sex. Uh, uh, sex can yeah, catch our um, mind and drag us down to the physical level where we can't think of anything spiritual. Therefore, uh, sex needs to be uh, regulated to the sacred institution of marriage. That is no illicit sex. And in this way, one can actually reject the unfavorable things. Now beyond that, there are also emotions that we can try to cultivate beyond the action. So, Anukulyasya Sankalpa Pratikulyasya Varjan Rakshishyati Iti Vishwa. So, that when we are in danger, we have to have faith that Krishna will protect me and to having that faith is itself an uh, act of surrender because although we may not know how Krishna will protect us but we do not let anxiety, worry, resentment or any negativity of that come in our mind we just hold on with the faith that Krishna will protect me and go up through the way we understand beyond that actually Krishna is my maintainer not just at time of danger but at all times it is you who is running my body when I eat food, I don't know how it gets digested. It is Krishna who has created bodily mechanisms by which he is digesting my food. Varanamdata Atmanikshepa Karpanye Atmanikshepa means I will offer my whole existence to Krishna. I am nothing without Krishna. And Kripa Karpanye means humility. So these are emotions which, which we can try to cultivate as much as possible. But if we do the first two, Anukulya Sankal Vatikulya Sivarjanam, 
these emotions will also grow quickly in our heart and that way we will also be able to move faster towards Krishna. So this is how uh, as an expression of love we can surrender to Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna.